It was a glass of Brunello that changed my future forever. We spent an entire afternoon on the patio at a Tuscan winemaker's home, tasting and talking about his beautiful Brunellos. Soon after, I bought my first book about wine, Windows on the World by Kevin Zraeli. And now, Kevin has a new book out, an updated version of the one I learned so much from. Kevin recently conducted a seminar at a Brunello tasting at the Wyndon in Houston, MassRAF's special events venue. MassRAF sommelier Ben Roberts helped coordinate the hundreds of wine pourings for today's event. What a coup and an accomplishment, really, to have someone as distinguished as Kevin Zraeli come here. Yeah, we were pretty surprised when we saw the uh, schedule, specifically because I teach his book to my staff and have for quite a few years. And so I spent a lot of time working, you know, through his methods. And to actually have him here at our location was, was pretty so much of a surprise. And I'm here now with Kevin Zarelli, the man that truly inspired me to learn about wine. And that Thank is you. not an overstatement. You say Brunello is truly one of the best wines in the world. Well, I was actually corrected today by the president of the consortio, Brunello di Montalcino. Oh, right. So, but actually, in the business, we do call it Brunello. Uh, and it is from Tuscany, and it is absolutely, positively, one of my favorite wines in the world. So not just favorite Italian wines, but in the world. Brunellos are by Italian law made from 100% Sangiovese grapes. Medium in style, they're lighter than a Cabernet. Similar in style to a Pinot Noir. They're a wonderful food wine, but Zraeli says, pair carefully. When it comes to wine and food, uh, I'm a little bit of a stickler. Actually, chefs don't like me. I love chefs, but they don't like me. Because what I'm trying to do is highlight the wine, the fruit of the wine, the essence of the wine, and some foods can overpower the wine. And I, I find this also with people who love to cook. They, and this is true of a lot of your uh, listeners and people that are watching your show, is they spend six or eight hours in the kitchen making this magnificent meal, but then they allow someone else usually their spouse, boyfriend, or girlfriend to choose the wine, which could ruin the whole meal. So what I'm saying is simplicity. When it comes to great wine, but if it's just regular wine, you don't worry about it. But if you're looking for a, a great wine, like a Brunello de Montalcino, you really want to uh, tone it down. Keep your spices to a minimum uh, and uh, a light sauce. Because what it has is that beautiful balance of acidity, you know, expressive fruit quality, and it has just enough tannin to work well with those richer meats. You know, in Texas, obviously, we like our meat. Uh, and, you know, at Mazarus, we have this lovely bison ribeye we do with a little bacon wrapping on the outside. It's beautiful. It melts in your mouth. But it just craves a wine that has enough unction to, to cut through the fat, but not overwhelm the delicate flavor of the bison. And Brunel is the perfect pairing for it. And it's one of the reasons why I love the wine. Brunellos generally start at about $50 a bottle and go up from there. Don't overlook the Rosos the younger version of the Brunello. I think some of the best values in the world, uh, it's called Rosso, R-O-S-S-O, -S -S -O, Rosso do Montalcino. And um, we're talking about a $20 price range uh, in general. It might go a little bit lower, it might go a little bit higher, depending upon the vintage. But it is, it is really one of the great, and I'm gonna call it a second wine. It's not really a second wine, but it, it's still made with the Brunello grape. It's just a little bit, of, it's ready to drink. Whereas a good Brunello de Montalcino needs five years, ten years to age. So you drink the Rosso while you're waiting for the other ones, the real Brunello, to, to age to its proper taste. The key to buying the best value in any wine is to know the producer. In his book, Kevin lists his favorite producers, not only for Brunellos, but for many other varietals as well. I've got a link right here if you'd like to order one.